Gold Mountain TV presents. Yeah. yeah. This song goes out to every person out there that's in a position to make a change. Hello, everyone. My name is Taps Bandawi. I've been in the entertainment business for over 35 years. And I thought it would be great with all the experience and everything I've done throughout the years to share stories about the experiences I've had. Stories about how we started the urban music, what you call urban music now in South Africa, way back in the late 80s. Stories about being in the studio with Lucky Dube, Brenda Farsi, and those icons. Story about how we changed the sound in South Africa. How I was the first rap artist or urban music artist signed to a major label, how that came about. Stories about how I was the first artist to go number one with an urban song, how we were nominated for three South African Music Awards and won two. All the great experiences we have and you guys will really love these stories because from there I went over to the UK, did some amazing things there as well, was signed to the top label in the world. They gave me my own production deal and there I signed the artists and we had four number ones. Every you want, I got it, I'm hot, baby, I want it, love, solid for hours, not even Austin Powers could top it. Stories about working with great, great artists, how I honed my production skills, how I was rejected by a lot of, um, a lot of the labels before we went on to success, how then I came back to Malawi with an aim of really revolutionizing the Malawi music industry. The music sounds changed completely. Great stories about working on fantastic classic albums like with Lucius Banda. How did we work on the Freedom album? How did that come about? What was the thought process that went into it? You know, was it just songs recorded? No, it was deep, deep thinking and sitting down with the great man and coming up with an actual sound. How songs like Ntawi, classic songs like Ntawi, yeah, yeah, were born. What was the thought process? You know, you'll love this. Who played keyboards? Who played guitar? What arguments did we have? What fun did we have? Then stories like how Tay Grin's sound came about. How we changed the sound and gave Tay Grin his sound that will live on forever. Great stories with Dan Lu, great stories about Theo Thompson and how we worked and you know, all the way from London uh, through to Malawi. Great stories about Mlaka Mario, about how I knew that guy would be something special in terms of prophecy and things that he used to, insights he used to give me in the studio. You guys will find this absolutely fascinating. And so join me on this journey, um, I'll be giving you these stories, but we want feedback from you as well you know, questions that you may have. It's all about, you know, us communicating with each other and uh, finding a balance that can take music to the next level in Malawi and take it to the international stage where one of our artists has got to win a Grammy in our lifetime. How do we, as Malawians, get there? So guys, it's gonna be over a few weeks. We, every week there'll be a story or two. Let's make this happen and you know, it's gonna be great. Join me on this tour.